ready for this? Are you ready for this? It's all about moving and matching images and words to score the maximum points for your team. We're going to be testing our team's knowledge across more than a dozen categories, including sports, science, geography, pretty much anything you can think of, as we find out who will play in our prize round. But before we get there, we've got plenty of action to get through. Let's meet our teams. <laughs> On our blue team, we have Holly and Bella. Girls, welcome to the show. Thank you. Love your shirt, a big smiley Thank face you. to match your big smiling face, Holly. Now, you enjoy motorbikes and you've been riding quads since you were four. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. <laughs> How were you young enough to get on there? Uh, well, I was okay with it. <laughs> nice, and you've got a photo, show us that. Wow. I like your helmet too, very Thanks. cool, green. Where's that photo taken? At my farm. Wow, you ride a lot on the farm? Mm hmm. A Off lot. road, on the track, on the yep. dirt? Everything. <laughs> Ooh, you're bad to the bone. I like that. That's fantastic. And Bella, you make homemade greeting cards. Yeah, I do. It's like you start off with just a normal greeting card and then you just mix it up a little bit and make all these different types of cards. So, yeah. Fabulous. And that's one of your very own there. I can see the yes. front looks beautiful. <laughs> And there's a tassel on the side as well, a love heart. Is there anything on the back? Yes, there is, actually. Oh, my gosh, yeah. that's wonderful. How long would something like that take you to make? Well, sometimes if they're really difficult, like if you need to put pins in them and everything, it would take half an hour, but some take 10, some take 20, so it depends on the actual card. Nice, it's quite the process. Well, it looks <laughs> splendid. Good luck today, girls. Thank you. And shooting across to our yellow team, we have Sophie and India. Girls, welcome to the show. Or should I say, Your Highness? Very nice to have you here, Sophie, because you're a descendant of a bit of royalty, aren't you? Um, just a little bit. My gra great grandmother was the princess of a really tiny island called Niue, and it's near Tonga. And um, I also have a lot of mixed background, like England, Irish, New Zealand, um, Latvian, and Chinese. Goodness me, how exotic. Very good. I think I'm a very distant relative from the royal family, but I still didn't score an invite to the wedding. I turned up and I got kicked out. It was incredibly uncomfortable. Now, India, you love painting your nails. Yes, I do. And I can see from here they're looking sparkling. Look at that. Wonderful. One, two, three, four colours there. How long yeah. did that take? Um, well, this one took about half an hour because it's really messy and, yeah. What's the longest time you've ever spent on your nails? Two hours. Two hours? <laughs> Goodness me, you poor nails. How many colours was that? Was that a dot painting? What were you doing? Um, well, I had, like, different designs on each nail, so it had, like, a lot of detail and everything because I did oh. animals on oh. my nails. Fantastic. Well, that looks great. Let's find out if you've got what it takes to move it. Teams behind me are five screens. Words will appear inside the screens like this. You'll then have 45 seconds to match those words with the statement of fact that I give you. For every match you get right, you'll score five points. And if you lock in everything in under 45 seconds and all your matches are correct, you'll score bonus points for every second you don't use. How does that sound? Great. Awesome. Yes, let's get started on round one. Move it and match it. At the start of today's action, we tossed a coin to decide who'd be going first. Our blue team won that toss, and they've decided to dive right into the action, quad biking into the thick of things. Let's take a look and see what category our supercomputer picks for them. You ready for this? What could it be? Hey. Old ideas, old ideas, blue team. We're looking for inventions that are over 100 years old. Let's take a look and see what words are inside our blue team screens. We have telephone, refrigerator, traffic lights, steam train, 
and matches. Okay, blue team, now we know your words. Let's see if we can line them up with some facts. Who's joining me on the ramp? Me. Well, let's move it. Come on, Holly. We've got telephone, refrigerator, traffic lights, steam train and matches. All inventions over 100 years old. All right, 45 seconds on the clock here, Holly. Got to match as many of those words to the five facts that I give you. How's that sound? Good. All righty, here comes your first fact. Kids call me a choo-choo. Move it. So fact number Holly, one. Steam train. Steam train. She's got steam train and she's sending it to screen one. Got to line those facts up. I was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Uh, what could that be? Um, Alexander Graham Bell. I'm go with matches. Okay. She's got matches on okay. five. Sending it to screen two for fact two. Okay. My name also means is the same. Uh, Any help from the pod? Maybe refrigerator. I don't know. Oh, okay. Nice work. Lock it in. Got to lock it in. There it is. Fact four and five coming back to back. I'm a common kitchen appliance with four R's in my name. Oh, no. And fact five, I come in green, amber and red varieties. Got to lock them in. Oh, and yep. locking in five there. <laughs> nice. Come up, Holly. <laughs> How do you think you went there, Holly? I'm not sure. I think I did pretty bad. I've got to say, I, I'm amazed that the traffic lights are, are 100 years old. I find that very interesting. All right, you've gone to steam train matches, refrigerator, telephone, traffic lights. Let's take a look and see how many move it matches our blue team ad. Very good. The old steam train. The old choo-choo, Holly. Very good. The old choo-choo train was in the right spot. Uh, just to clarify on some of the others, I was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Telephone, bit of a hit there, bell. Remember they ring like a bell? Oh. Fact three, my name also means is the same. Matches, you might have heard, matching things together. Oh, yeah. Fact number four, I'm a common kitchen appliance with four R's in my name, the old refrigerator. And traffic lights, that was in the correct position, but you just ran out of time before being able to lock it in. Although, because you're used to riding on ATVs, you're probably not used to seeing traffic lights. You just no. go when you want. <laughs> Everything's a green for you. Well, green light back to that pod, Holly. Great start. Good teamwork there. Yellow team, how are you feeling after seeing that? Excited. Okay. <laughs> Very good, Your Highness. Let's take a look and see what categories are on our supercomputer. You ready for this? So many choices. What will it choose? The art stuff. The art stuff. We're after hobbies. Hobbies, art supplies. Let's take a look and see what words are on our yellow team screens. Canvas, crayon, clay, paint and easel. All right, yellow team, now we know the words. We've got to line them up with some facts. Who's heading on that ramp? I am. Well, let's move it. Come on, Sophie. We've got canvas, crayon, clay, Paint and easel, 45 seconds on the clock. My goodness, you move quickly. Thank You're you. You're up here before me. That was incredible. All right, five facts, same deal, 45 seconds on the clock. Fact one needs to go in screen one. Here comes your okay. first fact. Oh, and you've got to wait till I say move okay. it as well, Sophie. <laughs> I can be a watercolour, oil or acrylic. Move it. What could that be, Sophie? Okay. Sending fact one up to screen one. Okay. You can paint on me, but you can also make tents and shoes out of me. That needs to go on screen too. OK, sending canvas down to two and locking it in. I am a type of art stand that rhymes weasel. with weasel. Very good. Two back-to-back -back here. Fact four, most little kids learn to draw using me. And Crayon. five, I am a four-letter sculpture material you find in the ground. First one's crayon. And lock them in with ten seconds to spare, no less. Sophie, great start. How did you feel there? Um, I felt good. I it's felt really good as well. That You okay, were rolling okay. along there, doing very well. Let's take a look and see how many moves it matches our yellow team ad. Five from five. Well done. With 11 seconds up your sleeve as well. They'll be going to bonus points. Let's have a look there. Of course, paint. Yes, that can be water, colour, oil or acrylic. Canvas, yep, you can make shoes and tents as well as painting on it. Easel, rhymes with weasel and it's an art stand. Crayon, a lot of kids learn to draw with those. And clay, of course, a sculpture material you'll find in the ground. Head back to your pods. Well done. What a start that was. Time for a quick score check. Our blue team on five points. 
And 11 bonus points mean our yellow team's on 36 points. <laughs> Fabulous start here, but it's still anyone's game. After the break, we're going head-to-head -head right here on Movers. <laughs> Is that Holly just showing us all about ATVing there and very appropriate because it's about to get full throttle action in a round I like to call Make a Move. Well, this time around, teams, it's time to go head to head. Part of my favourite element of the game, it's the buzz around. I'll ask a series of questions. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Get it right, you'll score five points. Get it wrong, it'll go across to the other team. After every question, we'll reveal a new image and we'll use those images for a big game of Move It at the end. How does that sound? Great. Well, let's find out what category we're going to be playing for on our super computer. Are you ready for this? It's not easy. It's not easy. We're after food, in particular, green foods. Hands on those buzzers. Here comes your first question. Rhyming with C's and coming out of a pod are what small green balls? Yellow team. Peas. Peas is correct. Question two. Which green leafy vegetable sometimes comes in iceberg, cos and yellow team? Lettuce. Lettuce is correct. Fact three. Which green fruit shares a name with the New Zealand national bird? Yellow team. Kiwi fruit. A kiwi fruit's correct. Number four, which vegetable completes the phrase cool as a... Cucumber. Thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> cheers. Question five, which peppery leaf is named after a space-going vehicle? Peppery leaf named after a space-going vehicle. What could that be? We were after a rocket, of course. Very good, goes into space. All right, now we know our images. Let's see if we can line them up with some facts. Who's joining me on the ramp? I am. Well, let's move it. Come on, Bella and India. We've got rocket, we've got lettuce, cucumber, peas and kiwi fruit. This time around, girls, I'll say five facts at a time. You'll then have 45 seconds to move it. So a bit of a shake-up, we feeling across this? Yes, yeah. All right, here come your five facts. Fact number one, I was once known as a Chinese gooseberry. Fact number two, I'm a salad vegetable that's a member of the sunflower family. Fact number three, in the USA, I'm called arugula. Fact number four, I'm eaten as a vegetable, but actually, I'm the seeds of a fruit. And fact number five, I'm an ingredient in tzatziki dip. Ooh, yummy. 45 <laughs> seconds on the clock, let's move it. Yellow team, fact number one needs to go in screen number one. A Chinese gooseberry. Locking in. Okay, um, what have we got? Fact number two. Rocket. I'm rocket, a salad rocket, vegetable. Rocket. A member of the sunflower family. Um, going across to yellow. How are they going on? Fact three. Um, peace, Both on peace, fact three. Peace. Blue. I'm in the USA. I'm called an arugula. Fact four. Cucumber. I'm eating cucumber. as a vegetable. Uh, lettuce, what lettuce, that be? Lettuce. Wait, yeah. Great help coming from the polls. Okay. 30 um, seconds. Five is cucumber. It's chaos down here. Blue team's locked in. And yellow team's locked in as well. Wonderful work there. Goodness me, what fabulous encouragement coming from the pods there. Wonderful stuff. How are we feeling over here? Okay. Okay, let's take a look and see how many move it matches our blue team has. Well done, Bella. Very good. You had kiwi fruit and cucumber. Sliding across to our yellow team. India, how are you feeling? Um, not very well, but... Oh, please, 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 you're about to be feeling very good. Let's take a look and see how many movement matches our yellow team did. Very good, kiwi fruit, the old Chinese gooseberry. Let's review some of these answers. Of course, kiwi fruit was the Chinese gooseberry. Both our teams had that in the right spot. I'm a salad vegetable that's a member of the sunflower family. We're after lettuce. Fact number three, in the USA, I'm called arugula. That's rocket. I'm eaten as a vegetable, but actually I'm the seeds of a fruit. Fact number four, we were after peas. And fact five, I'm an ingredient in tzatziki. Cucumber, we're after. So fact five, our blue team had, but we just had it in the wrong spot over here on yellow. Head back to those pods, guys. Make me some tzatziki if you wouldn't mind. I could go for some. 
Time for a quick score check. Our blue team on 15 points. And our yellow team on 61 points. It's still anyone's game, though, because after the break, we're playing for double points. Double points on the buzzer, double points on the move-it ramp. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Pretty special welcome for Princess Sophie, and it's very appropriate because we've got a bit of a royal rumble happening here. Very close. Anyone's game, that means it's time to get a move on. Hey. I had such a blast on those buzzers. It's only fair we work them out again. This time, though, double points. Double points on the buzzers, double points on the ramp. I'll ask a series of questions. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Get it right, you'll score 10 points. Get it wrong, it'll go across to the other team. And then again, we'll have another big game of Move It just to cap things off. We ready? Yeah. We yeah. excited? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's check what category our supercomputer picks for us. You ready for this? Move it. In too deep. In too deep. We're after a geography category, bodies of water. Bodies of water. Hands on those buzzers. Here comes your first question. Rhyming with frond is which small standing water hole? Yellow team. Pond. Pond is correct. Number two. Starting with H is which place where boats can seek shelter? Blue team. Um, harbour. Harbour's correct. Question three. Which body of water rhymes with shiver? Blue team. Need an answer. Um. Oh, yellow team. River. River is correct. Question four. Which watery word goes with Pacific, Atlantic and Indian? Yellow team. Ocean. Ocean's correct. And question five. Which temporary standing body of water is often caused by rain? Is it A, moat, B, tray or C, puddle? Yellow team. Puddle. Puddle. Puddle is correct. Well done. Well, we've got our five images on the board. Let's see if we can line them up with some facts. Who's hitting the ramp? She is. Let's move it. Come on, to Polly and Sophie. We've got pond, harbour, river, ocean and puddle. All right, this time around, teams, I'll only read one fact at a time and you'll have ten seconds to lock it in. I'll say move it when I'm finished with the question. Then you get a move on and finish up here for the next question. Here comes your first fact. Fact number one. In a kid's nursery rhyme, Dr Foster stepped into one of me right up to his middle. Move it. What do we think, yellow team? Cuddle. Up you come. Fact number two. An American R&B singer shares my name. Move it. What do you think, blue team? Locking him in. Fact three. You may find koi or other fish swimming in me. Move it. Pond, what do we think, pond. Yellow? Pond. Oh, pond. Pond. Very good. Up you come, up you come. Last two facts coming back to back now. I'm sometimes used as a first name for humans. That's fact four. And fact five. Sydney is famous for its version of me. Move it. Five Ten seconds. Get him in. Lock him in. Oh. Talk about suspense there. <laughs> Goodness me. Holly, you have my heart racing. <laughs> Let's take a look and see how many Move It matches our blue team has. Excellent work. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. With plenty of time up your sleeve as well. Let's take a look and see how many Move It matches our yellow team has. Oh, a very good one as well. Nice, Puddle was in the right spot. Let's uh, review some of those answers. Fact two, an American R&B singer shares my name. Ocean, of course, Frank Ocean. Fact number four, I'm sometimes used as a first name for humans. River, River Phoenix, a famous actor. And number five, Sydney is famous for its version of me. Well, it's the Sydney Harbour, of course, an iconic setting. One of my favourite places for a swim. Up you come, teams, from those pods. Join us up here. Very good. Wow, and good speed up the ramp. Time for a quick score check. Our blue team on 104 points. 
and our yellow team on 121 points. <laughs> wow, and with a very special handshake to match. Blue, you really fired home in that last round. Five from five. What a spectacular way to finish. Let's take a look and see what you're heading home with. All contestants on Move It receive this book pack, courtesy of Paragon Publishing. You ready for this? Welcome back and a very special welcome back to Sophie and India, our champions from today. Well done, girls. Thanks. It was a very close game today. I think the only difference was your speed on the pods there. <laughs> Feels pretty good to be up here now, though, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. All right, well, you're playing for our prize game. Up until now, we've been asking you to match our images and words with a statement of fact. But what we need from you in the prize round is to order our words. Now, that could be any order at all. It could be alphabetical order. It could be chronological order. We'll flash five words on the screen. Then you have to order them. Pretty simple stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Let's take a look and see what category our supercomputer is going to offer you. You ready for this? What could it be? <laughs> when did that happen? And bubble, bubble. When did that happen? Is sports, Olympic moments, and bubble, bubble is science, boiling points. What category would you like to choose, girls? When did that happen? Yeah, when, did, when that did that happen? Good, unanimous support there. When did that happen? Okay, we're going to place five Olympic moments on the screens on your left. We're going to then ask you to order them from oldest on screen number one to most recent on screen number five. How's that sound? Okay. Alrighty, let's clear those monitors. 45 seconds on the clock. Let's move it. Okay, let's look at them. Take your time. Women were allowed to compete. Oh, Professional okay. athletes um, were allowed to compete. Um, BMX, I'm not BMX was added as a sport. I think it's the first Winter no, Olympics. I think, I think it's women. Yeah, women. Were women. Think about the Olympics, girls. Um, okay. 30 so seconds, plenty of time. Oh, my God, I'm so bad at sports. <laughs> 20 seconds, uh, uh, plenty of time. Modern. Try and oh, my God. The modern. most recent yeah, is towards... Okay. The ends, the oldest at two. BMS. Ten seconds, BMX. girls. They can't be. Oh no, that's in the US. Um, lock them in. Get them in. Quick get them in. in. Three seconds. Get them in. Lock them all in. Just lock them in. <laughs> Ooh, just by a whisker there. Interesting, the old Olympic category, the five ring circus, as they call it. How do you think you went there? You were very um, measured and working well as a team, I thought. Sports? <laughs> not nothing. No. <laughs> so, um, we're not sure, but... Not sure. Yeah. Well, you're a princess at the end of the day, so you've got plenty of gold anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's take a look oh, and see how many move-it matches our yellow team had. Oh, stumped a little bit there. It was a hard category, though, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Sometimes the old computer throws up a few tricky ones. Let's take a look and see if we can order them. OK, remember, it was from the oldest at screen number one to the most recent. The first modern Olympics was our first one. It was in 1896. Women were allowed to compete in 1900. The first Winter Olympics was in 1924 on screen three. Professional athletes were allowed to compete in 1992. Wow, that's a long time, isn't it? And BMX was added as a sport in 2008. That was the most recent, but you were just timed out. Didn't get to lock it in in time. But very good work otherwise. And girls, you were spectacular for the duration of our show. You were swarming the pods and roaming through that ramp like a million miles an hour. This is what you're heading home with. Test your skills with a Lego Chima 3DS or the Scribblenauts 3 Unlimited 3DS game, courtesy of Warner Brothers. Another scorching game of move it. Both our teams were on fire today. Some fabulous gameplay on both sides of the ramp. Going to start off by asking the blue team, your favourite must have been the last category, in too deep, am I right? Yes. You were fantastic. <laughs> I was in over my head just watching you. And girls, you must have loved playing on those buzzers. That yeah, was fantastic. We did. <laughs> well, it's really important everyone has fun and learn something too. I learnt that lettuce is a member of the sunflower family. Very interesting. Sophia, India, Holly and Bella have been great contestants. We hope you've enjoyed playing along at home. We'll see you next time on Move It.